Hello everybody. This is Fazal Rabi, your English teacher. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You can also visit my social media page. You can contact me through my WhatsApp if you have any sort of queries. Today we will discuss types of pronoun. Before moving forward to the topic, please do visit my previous lecture about parts of speech in which I have defined all the parts of speech in the very simple manner. That lecture is very important for this lecture as well. The link of that lecture has been given in the description. So first of all we have to know what is a pronoun. As been mentioned earlier, a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. There are nine common types of pronoun. These are personal pronouns, possessive, reflexive, reciprocal, relative, demonstrative, indefinite, interrogative, and intensive pronouns. Number one, personal pronoun. Personal pronouns takes the place of people or things. These are always specific and are often used to replace a proper noun. These are I, you, he, she, it, we, they, her, him, them. Now we will use it in a sentence. I saw the dog where I is a personal pronoun. The dog saw me where me is a personal pronoun. He bought some apples but they were expensive. Here the personal pronouns are he and they. Number 2. Possessive Pronouns Possessive pronouns are used to show possession. These are mine, yours, his, hers, ours and theirs. That bicycle is hers. Here hers is a possessive pronoun. This computer is mine, not yours. Here mine and yours are possessive pronouns. These houses are ours, not theirs. Here we have ours and theirs as possessive pronouns. Number 3. Reflexive Pronouns A reflexive pronoun in self or selves and refers back to another noun or pronoun in the sentence. These are myself, yourself, herself, himself, itself, ourselves, yourselves and themselves. Now to use it in a sentence. Are you talking to yourself where we have yourself as a reflexive pronoun? She locked herself in a room. Here we have herself as a reflexive pronoun. I told myself not to spend all my money on new shoes. Here we have reflexive pronoun myself. Number 4. Reciprocal Pronouns Reciprocal pronouns are similar to reflexive pronouns, but they involve groups of two or more that perform the same action with one another. These are each other and one another. Use in a sentence. They like one another. Sarah and John love each other. They talk to each other like they are babies. Number 5. Relative Pronouns Relative pronouns are used to add more information to a sentence. They will usually appear after a noun to help and clarify the sentence or give extra information. These are who, which, that, whom, whose. Use in a sentence, 
आइस आर द डॉग दैट यू ऑन हियर वी हैव दैट इज अ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन दिस इज द लैपटॉप विच आई लाइक द मोर हियर वी हैव विच एज अ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन द ड्राइवर हु रैन द स्टॉप साइन वॉज केयरलेस हियर वी हैव हु इज अ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन नंबर सिक्स डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस आर यूज टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट और इंडिकेट इट विल पॉइंट टू अ नाउन दीज आर दिस दैट दीज दो दिस इज अ केट वीयर वी हैव दिस इज अ डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन That is a cloud. Where we have that as a demonstrative pronoun. These are trucks. Where we have used these as a demonstrative pronoun. Those are boards. Where we have used those as a demonstrative pronoun. We have noticed that this and these are used for the things which are near and that and those are used for a thing which are far away. Number 7 indefinite pronouns. An indefinite pronoun does not refer directly to any other word. They are used for non-specific things. They do not have a specific person or thing to reference. These are all some any several anyone nobody each both few either none one and no one are the most common this is the largest group of pronouns now sentence use some students are missing here we have some as an indefinite pronoun many prefer their coffee with sugar where many is an indefinite pronoun everybody is welcome at the meeting here we have everybody as an indefinite pronoun number 8 interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions which are who whose what which and whom who are those people whose pin is this what is the date today which of these dates is yours whom did the president criticize here all these first words of these sentences are interrogative Number 9 intensive or emphatic pronouns An intensive pronoun refers back to another noun or pronoun in the sentence to emphasize it These are myself himself herself themselves itself yourself yourselves ourselves Look at the use in the first sentence I will do it myself where myself is an intensive or emphatic pronoun we made this ice cream ourselves here we have ourselves as an emphatic pronoun the cat opened the door itself here itself is an intensive pronoun dear students don't get confused in intensive and reflexive pronouns Please watch my other video on the difference between intensive and reflexive pronoun which will clarify all your ambiguities for sure. So we have covered all these pronouns in this lectures. You can take a screenshot of it. Please share this video with the students and teacher and subscribe it. Thank you so much.